Hi, Jenny. Hi, Dave. What are you making? Well, we're going to make some more healthy sandwiches. That so I'm going to help? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yes. I'd love to. So these could be part of a healthy lunch at home or a sack lunch or a quick evening meal. Grab that can of tuna there. Okay. So we have drained this can of tuna and it's water pack versus oil pack. And the normal thing about tuna is slathering it with a lot of mayonnaise and that's not too heart healthy. So we're gonna try something a little bit different with this tuna and we're gonna dress it up with some lime and cilantro. Great idea. So go ahead and get that tuna in the bowl. Okay. There we are. All right, so now we're gonna juice that lime in there. Okay, we'll squeeze it a Ooh, little I bit. Oh, I like how you're getting that scrose there. Yeah, and I think we're gonna get a lot of juice out of this lime. What's next, Jenny? Next, we're gonna do some cilantro. Cilantro, right here. Yeah, and so All that's- All washed, Yeah, ready that's to go. already washed and ready to go. Okay. We need about a quarter cup of that. Okay, we're gonna just take the tops off and pick them like that so we don't get as many stems. Okay, and we'll rough chop that. And some of these recipes, you don't have to be as exact because it's not like we're baking. So we can estimate the portions a little bit. Okay, we're ready with the cilantro. Okay. And if you didn't have cilantro, you could substitute parsley. Oh, great. Got that in the garden. So next we need about a couple tablespoons of minced onion. All right. And we're just going to chop this one. And then we'll mince it up real fine. Okay, we're pretty finely minced there. Okay. We need about two tablespoons of that. Yep. Yeah, and a thumb is about the size of your tablespoon, so that's okay. about two thumbs worth. There's one and two. Okay. Very good. What's next? Uh, next, we want to put a little bit of um, pepper. Okay. Pinch of pepper. So you can adjust that based on your flavor preferences. And a little bit of your favorite hot sauce. Okay. We happen to have some Tabasco. Awesome. So Couple again, adjust that, that. Yep, adjust that to taste. So in the tuna already has some salt in it. So okay. you can taste it at this point and see if it needs a pinch of, of regular salt. Um, so it kind of depends on whether you feel it needs a little bit of salt or not. Okay, let's give her a taste. Just a pinch. What do you think? The citrus gives it um, mm. some flavor and you tend to need less salt or sodium when you mm. have the citrus. I agree. Mm. I don't I think, think we good. need any extra salt. I think it's great. With the, the hot sauce? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't need that sodium. Set that aside. So, okay, now we got to turn this into a sandwich. So let's try some whole grain pita. Okay. Um, but we don't want that pita to get too soggy. So let's maybe put some lettuce in there and wedge the tuna salad inside of that. Wonderful. So we've got some pre-washed romaine, is that right? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. A couple pieces of romaine in there. Yeah. Okay. Lining it like up. Like so? Pocket, yep. And then we're going to fill it with this. So this is also going to be less soggy than a mayonnaise-based dressing and won't turn your bread to mush. So this will hold up for quite a while.
If yeah. you pack it in a lunch, it's right. not going to get soggy. Yeah. It's great. What do you think? Is that enough in there? I think that looks good. That yeah. Looks really so you good. could um, you could put that in a lunch bag, and you want to make sure you have a, something to keep this cold. So this is a, a keep it cold kind of lunch. So what what do you think we could add to this to tuck in a fruit? Because we got to have our food groups. Well, I think that some citrus would taste good since we have some really tart citrus. How about if we use some sweet citrus, like an orange? Oh, that sounds great. Well, this looks great. Let's give it a taste. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jenny. Mm. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. mm. So let's just show folks how to make one um, of these wraps. When you say wrap, I know we're going to need a tortilla. Right, so let's get out a tortilla and okay. just put it on our plate. There we are. Nice whole wheat tortilla. And then we're going to squirt a little barbecue sauce on there, probably about a tablespoon, about as much as your thumb. Okay. Okay, and what we have here is we have some um, turkey lunch meat. Okay. Um, if you can get natural without the uh, nitrates in it, that's a, a bonus, but um, use what you have on hand. Or if you have leftover meat from a previous meal, you could um, put fresh in there. How much of this do we need? Well, we want about two ounces, and that's an eight ounce package, so about okay. a quarter of the package. Okay, so that's probably about three slices here. Okay. Okay, All right, so up. I didn't touch this with my fingers. I know if you do, it spoils very quickly. Yeah. So we were pretty careful about that. And you and want to get so this refrigerated right away. Where, where do you want the meat? Kind of well, in the center or all over? Uh, probably all over. Okay. Because we want to use the meat to kind of be a barrier um, with the slaw so it doesn't, the slaw doesn't make the tortilla soggy. Okay. All right, so now we're going to make a, a quick little bit of uh, slaw dressing. So we need a bit of cider vinegar. Okay. So a teaspoon of that and then a little tea, half a teaspoon of honey. Okay, so, I'm going to guess Yeah, on you that don't one. really have to measure. Just a little bit. There we go. And then you can stir that up a little bit. So we have some salt in the turkey. Right. Salt in the tortilla. Right. Probably a little salt in the barbecue sauce, so we're not going to add any other salt, right? No, I don't think we need it. Okay. Yeah. And then it calls for about a half a cup, but again, you can use as much slaw as you want, but we're going to use about a half a cup. There, there we go. This is... We got the right proportion of them. Yeah, I can taste both, the vinegar and the honey. Great. This way you'll leave the extra dressing in the bowl and mm -hmm. not make your sandwich too soggy. There we go. All right. And then show us how, how you'd roll that up. Well, let's see. We could do a burrito roll where we fold in the sides so nothing spills out, or we can just do a, a straight roll with it. Let's try the burrito and see how that works. Yeah, I think it's a soft enough tortilla. You could probably do that. Yeah, we'll just fold the ends a little bit and roll it up. And that way we can keep everything in one place nice. when we go to eat it. Okay. So you've got a three food group sandwich there with the okay. vegetables, the meat, and the whole grain. How about we round that out by maybe serving a banana along with it? You can see the, oh, that's the, okay. That's the thing that he has taped to the top. Well, Jenny, are you ready? Three, two, one. Whenever you call it, we're ready. ready. Yeah, yeah. 